Hello my lovelies, welcome to the start of a 24 hour reading vlog. I hope that you're having a great day, I'm so excited. I actually think I'm going to do a timer method for this 24 hour readathon because I do want to stop the timer for when I go to sleep, but I have the majority of these days to just read a bunch of books. Planning to read Siren Queen by Nevo. I have that on my Libby app and it's one of my most anticipated releases for 2022. I also want to read Pandora's Jar by Natalie Haynes. This is a Greek retelling and it details Pandora and the myth of Pandora. I've heard of like Pandora's box before but I really don't know anything other than it had the chaos of the world contained and then it got opened and it released chaos into the world of man and both of those books are 300 pages or less so they should be quite quick to get through my chunky book for this readathon i'm finally getting to it is strange the dreamer by laney taylor i have been waiting to get in the mood for a fantasy book and this has really flowery lyrical beautiful writing i've heard it's a beautiful beautiful story it's a duology and i just finished reading once in future witches by alex harrow which is a fantasy and also has an extremely like whimsical lyrical flowery writing style so where i finished that one i really loved it my brain is kind of in that mode of that type of writing style, that type of fantasy, I thought it would be an easy transition to finally pick up this one, which I've been meaning to get to for a really long time. We are going to get into some reading sprints. Hi besties, I am currently on reading sprints with Bailey and Sarah and I wanted to do a quick update on the book so I'm currently 17% through Siren Queen and I I just love Nebo's writing she's very I think I already mentioned like magical realism she just has like kind of the same magic that she used in The Chosen and the Beautiful that's in this book it takes place in like old time Hollywood. They're kind of just getting out of the era of silent movies. I have a feeling she's going to like get her big break into the film industry, but it's going to kind of show the dirty underbelly of the film industry. Okay, so we are off reading sprints. I'm kind of whispering because my boyfriend's sleeping in the other room. Um, we got off sprints. I read up to 37% in Siren Queen. However, it is 10.07. I just took a little bit of a break because I wanted to eat an actual dinner because I was kind of just like snacking through our sprints. Definitely feeling more like energized and stuff now that I ate. I am excited to get back into Siren Queen. I'm really, really enjoying it. I just love Nevo's like weirdness and I mean weirdness in the most complimentary way possible it's definitely showing the dark underbelly of the movie film industry in Hollywood during this time but there's moments that are just so so strange that I kind of have to reread a paragraph so that I know what's going on and so even though this book is only like 300 pages it is taking me a little bit longer to get through I I think next I'm going to pick up Strange the Dreamer. Okay, we're gonna read again soon. Hello, it is 12.30. I read up to 56% in Siren Queen. I'm on page 160. I was definitely scrolling on TikTok for quite some time. I'm having trouble figuring out like what not so much what's going on, but like what does it mean in terms of the rest of the story? If you've read Siren Queen, the parts that are getting really confusing to me is Friday nights they have these like fires and everyone kind of goes and like hangs out around the fire. The part that's confusing to me is this hunt. Like every Friday there's the fires, but then there's a hunt that's led by like the guy who owns that movie production thing. It's a short book, I'm gonna stick it out, but I'm definitely not enjoying this book as much as I have some of her other ones. We'll see how it goes, but for now, I'm going to call it a night. I'm gonna go to sleep, 
and I'm going to pause my timer. All right, I just finished Siren Queen and I really just didn't love it. It's really big sad. I just really didn't feel connected to the characters as much as I typically do with Nevo's writing. And for me, very subjective, like this was my reading experience with this book because I know a lot of people do really, really love it. I didn't feel connected to the characters and it just felt very vapid to me. There was no meaning behind the story. Like usually with Nevo's books, I, it's very clear to me what the kind of deeper meaning is. I didn't get that. I didn't really get the meaning behind it. It was just kind of showing that it's kind of like a deal with the devil type thing. That was all I really got from it. The things that I really liked about the book though, even though I gave it two stars, was the writing style. She definitely has a very clear voice. And then also the there are sapphic romances in this book. It's not with one particular person. It does kind of jump around to a few different characters and this more like spicy scenes were stunning. One book down for this 24 hour readathon. I'm going to be starting Strange the Dreamer and I have my little sticky note in here which is a little bit hard to see. 12 hours and eight minutes left. So plenty of time to get through a good chunk of this book. And we are still on sprints. We're really just going strong. Live, laugh, loving. Okay, we've been off sprints for a little while now. Um, I ended up reading to page 42 in Strange the Dreamer. So I'm definitely reading this a lot slower, but I think as I get through the book a little bit more and the world building is more established in my head, I will be able to like read it faster. But these first couple chapters, there's just been a lot of information and not that it's like super info dumpy. I do think that it's going quite smoothly with the writing style. It's really, really beautiful. So far, I've only had I only have three tabs: one for world building, one for stunning quotes slash writing, and one for cute moments. So those are my three. That's my key so far. But I am really enjoying it. I just need to get up from my desk. I feel like I've been here. Well, I have been here for like hours. I've been here for the majority of the day and I've only really gotten up to like refill my water and stuff like that. So after I got off sprints, I edited a video that's going up tomorrow. It is a weekly reading vlog where I get my Medusa tattoo and I read the Odyssey Once in Future Witches and the Canterville Ghost. Such a fun vlog. I'm really excited for you guys to see that one. And I paused my timer, so I have eight minutes or excuse me, eight hours and 10 minutes. It is the next day. Last night I read for about an hour and a half and I got up to chapter 13 at page 95. I actually looked up the audiobook for Stranger Dreamer, which was available on my Libby app. I'm going to be listening to it while working today. I think Laszlo is the cutest little character I've ever read in my entire life. Like, he is just so adorable. I feel so bad for his circumstances with, with Nero trying to, like, steal his dream when he helped Nero, like, accomplish his dream. That was just... I really enjoyed the way that that was written and it really just made you fall in love with Laszlo. I also really really love the relationship between Laszlo and Master Hirokin. Their couple scenes that they had together so far in the beginning of this book 
were so cute like the way that master Hirokin like talks to him and he's like don't you want to go outside and meet girls and Laszlo's like not even paying attention to him and just like reading his books and writing his books like it was just so cute I really really loved them together I I'm absolutely, as I mentioned, in love with Laszlo already, and then I'm at the point where we're starting to meet the other characters that are in the Citadel. You know, I'm not really crazy about any of them. They're obviously more like on the evil side of things. That's pretty clear right off the bat, but I really like Sparrow and her powers. Um, they call her the Orchid Witch. Like, I want to be an Orchid Witch. That sounds so cool. I'm definitely enjoying it. I'm really excited to listen to a lot of this book today. And my goal is to really get quite far in this book so that I can aim to finish it tomorrow. I have some updates. Originally, I was trying to listen to the audiobook by itself while I was working, like trying to be a multitasking queen, and this was not working for me. The world building in Strange the Dreamer is like next level. I am now 152 pages in, I've read up to chapter 18, and this 150 pages has been world building. I'm kind of over it at this point, like I just want to get to where things are actually happening and things are no longer being explained to us. However, this world is complex, to say the least. So I have a feeling that there's probably gonna be world building for like the first half of this book, so another 100 pages. <sighs> That's just a lot. So all of these tabs, um, my tabbing system so far, I have a light blue for world building slash character info for like Laszlo's perspective because he is our true main character. Then I have a separate tab for world building slash character info for Sarai who is kind of a secondary main character but she is one of the antagonists of the story whereas Laszlo is our protagonist. All of these tabs are world building. I have two tabs for cute moments with Laszlo and Master Hirokin and then I have two pink tabs which are stunning quote slash writing. The majority of these tabs are all just like really important world building things that were talked about. I'm very close to where my sticky note is. I'm on page 150 and my sticky note is at page 180 or part three. And I have just under three hours left in my 24 hour readathon. The narrator for this audiobook has such a hot voice like it is just like gravelly deep and he has a British accent and I am living so I'm very happy that I got the audiobook for this and I feel like listening while you're reading it it helps my brain because it still feels like someone's telling me a story even though I'm following along with the words it just feels like my brain is doing less work I'm not gonna go into the explanation of how my brain works but anyways I'm enjoying doing it this way which I think is the main point that I'm trying to communicate and I will definitely be getting as far as I can into this book with my remaining you know about three hours It is dark now. I have 22 minutes left in this 24 hour readathon. I'm going to finish strong. Um, I just got to part three in Strange the Dreamer, so I'm on chapter 24, and I am definitely much more interested. So, like, they just made it to this lost city. The city just sounds, for lack of a better description, really cool. Like, it just sounds like such a fantasy book city. The citadel that's floating above the city that looks like a moth with like metal wings and stuff, it just sounds so alien and yet planty and like scary but cottagecore. Like it just sounds really intriguing and now that they finally 
made it to the city they know what's going on like everyone kind of knows what's going on we as the reader know what's going on i'm excited for the rest of the story to continue so i have been continuing to read it as i mentioned last time listening to the audiobook and then following along physically this narrator is so good like not only does he have the hottest voice like i just want to listen to every book that this man narrated because his voice is so like deep and gravelly and just hot but then he also does a really good job doing different voices for different characters i just wanted to give that update before like i hit the time because i'm really really enjoying this and i wanted to just share that i'm definitely like tabbing a lot less like they're really the writing style is very beautiful but so far i haven't had a ton of stunning stunning quotes that stand out to me but as we get like deeper into it i'm sure it's going to get even more and more like meaningful so i'm really curious because literally everyone was like get your tabs ready so like here they are i'm just waiting to tab something up. other than world building <laughs> so i will check in with y'all in a little bit in 22 minutes to be exact. Little smithereen of darkness dispatched into the dim. In that one sentinel, she focused her attention. So she was as good as a bear, hovering just inches above the godslayer's shoulder. Except. We have finally completed our 24 hour readathon. So I completed it last night. However, I was very sleepy and I wanted to save my final check in for today. So ultimately, I read up to page 275. I'm on chapter 33 of Strange the Dreamer, which I am feeling very accomplished. So I am officially halfway through this book. I'm really enjoying reading along with the audiobook. I'm definitely going to use this method in future reads, especially with fantasy books. I don't know why it makes my brain so happy to feel like someone's telling me the story, but then also reading along. As for a kind of summary of my thoughts with where I am so far for Strange the Dreamer, I'm enjoying it. The world in this book is so interesting and so unique to any other fantasy book that I've read. It is an experience. I guess what I'm kind of surprised about at this point is I don't feel a super strong connection to any of the characters. It's not to say I don't like them. I really like Laszlo. He is my number one, but I don't feel any type of connection or likeness to him and then all of the other characters i really i think they're interesting but i don't really care about them i'm here for the world i'm you know invested in the plot at this point i want to find out what happens but the way that everyone was talking about this book i thought that i would be much more in love with these characters and i'm really not feeling that way that's where i'm at very much enjoying it i would say it's probably like a 3.5 to a four star read for me right now but we'll see how i feel when i finish it and i was unable to get to pandora's jar for this 24 hour readathon i know i mentioned it right in the beginning and then never mentioned it again it's because i really didn't have the opportunity to pick it up once i finished siren queen i switched right to strange the dreamer i really just wanted to say a huge thank you to anyone who participated in this 24 hour readathon with us and anyone who joined the live reading sprints I love doing reading sprints with you guys. I feel like I always add so many books to my want to read list when we're doing reading sprints. So really, thank you, thank you so much. This was so much fun. And if you liked this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Leave a butterfly emoji down in the comments below. I'll see you in my next one. Bye friends.